through a whole body strength workout. Um, there's going to be five exercises in this workout. We're going to complete those as sets and reps. So 10 repetitions of each exercise, followed by one minute rest. You can complete that for three or four sets of each. It should give you a full body workout. We're going to start with squat and press. Dumbbells, sandbags, kettlebells, bags of rice, whatever you have on hand will do as long as we can hold those in the hand. So we start holding those at shoulder height, elbows in front, feet shoulder width apart. Sit back into the squat, keep the hands where they are, and as we push up, we push into our shoulder press. We can do a rotation as I am doing now, or we can do it without rotation, like so. Following from there, we go into a bent over row from a split squat position. So we want a good long stance for this one. And we're aiming to lower the chest so the body lines up with the legs and the chest is pointing down towards the ground. Other hand not on the knee to support. We just have that other hand to the side. So we're using our core muscles here and we complete our rows from there. Being a single side exercise, you complete 10 on one side, switch over, complete 10 on the other side to complete one set. Lunge to windmill again is a single leg arm exercise. So we're starting with the weight up overhead. It's in my right hand. So I step back with my left leg to a long stance, lower my back knee to the floor, reach down to the ground with my other hand and look up at the weight at the same time. So I'm touching down just behind the knee. Straighten up and look forward. Step back up. So we step down, knee to ground. We're keeping those toes tucked under so that when you come back up, you can push up out of that position. Follow this with a mountain climb or wood chop combo. Mountain climb push up combo. Hands in line with the chest, maybe a little wider than shoulder width. Good strong plank position for your push up. Follow that with knee to chest, slow controlled movement, right and left. That's one. That's two. So we aim to complete 10. Now we go to a wood chop, lateral lunge combo. We hold our weight in our hand end to end if you have a dumbbell. However is most comfortable for you if you're holding some other form of weight. Double shoulder width, toes pointed out. I'm going to turn my chest and shoulders one way and lunge in that direction. I'm going to push over that knee, with the, over that foot with the knee, and as I rotate the other direction and lift the weight overhead, I lunge across in the other direction, and then back. That's one. That's two. After ten, I reset to the other side and go from there. After completing 10 on the second side, that's considered one set. That's where you have your rest. That's the end of the circuit. A reminder, 10 of each exercise, one minute rest in between, three or four sets, and you've got a good strong strength workout.